<laughs> okay. It looks like we'll be safe from monsters in here. Aye. Oh, hello. What's wrong with you two? You look terrified. You, 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 you look, look. Come on now. There's no need to be afeard. We ain't monsters. You must have been so worried. Well, don't fret. Your daughter's safe now. Wait. Huh? Of course. Behind us. <laughs> right. Let's have it. A silent ambush from the rear. A shrewd strategy indeed. Now's not the time to be complimenting its tactics. You two, get to safety! Yes, yes, right away. Foreman, can you stand? I live. Come on, lad. Yes, Mr. Foreman, sir. Please, you have to breathe. Breathe! Inferno Slash! Yes, Mr. Foreman, sir. Please, you have to breathe. Breathe! Hmm. That's a little better. We best get moving. It's time to put an end to this little chase. Not much longer now, Mr. Foreman. Chin up! Oh, 
Give me a moment, lad. Uh, yes, Mr. Foreman, sir. Uh, please, you have to breathe. Breathe! That's that one wrapped up. Yes! Looks like that really is the last of the monsters this time. Mm. Now, go to your special one, sweet Beryl. Thank you, everyone. Thank you so, so much. <laughs> Doric, it's good to see you at the best of times, but at the head of a rescue party, and with my daughter in tow. <laughs> well, I can't thank you enough. Come now, I was simply doing my kingly duty, old friend. Were it possible, I would have come sooner, but... Alas, our entire realm is under siege. Hmm. So it wasn't just our monsters who turned, then. It was the whole lot of them. Things are worse than I thought. Noble Foreman! As Lord of the Realm, it falls to me to discover the truth behind their misbehavior, and to restore the monsters to their former selves. <laughs> Now think carefully, friend. Know you of anything which might explain this beastly business? Hmm. Ah! There is a legend passed down by my people. It tells of a slumbering dragon, black as the night. Sealed away in a deep, dark place. Deep in the dark heart of the world, the Black One lies his wings are furled. The night he brings devours the light. Fills hearts once pure with seething spites. Our, Our safety, safety on, his sleep on this depends, For with his waking comes the end. The sun will set on days of peace. Should e'er his slumber chance to cease. Nara, how the heck did you know that? It's from a book I used to read when I was a child. I was always fascinated by it. But I didn't even know I knew the words until now. Hmm. There are forces at work in this world. Forces we can never hope to understand. That's the same rhyme, all right. Word for ancient word. Intriguing. The eruptions on the Isle of the Fault, the sudden change in monster kind. Could all our recent troubles be related to this black dragon? And if so... Then, does that mean this dragon that's supposed to have been left well alone might actually be waking I... up? Well, it's an old tale, as I say, so there's no knowing how much truth might be in it. Hmm. Hmm. This is not the first I have heard of the great black dragon. The recent changes in our realm could well be related to this ancient evil. We must find out the truth of this, friends, before it is uh, too late. Excuse me, Your Majesty. Hmm? Bianca and I were wondering if you might allow us to accompany you. 
Whatever's going on in this world, it ain't good. We can't just leave you to face it on your own. We want to help. Are you sure, though? Didn't you say you had something urgent to be getting back to in your world? Someone special? Yes. We do. But knowing of the peril your world faces... We cannot, in good conscience, ignore your plight. <laughs> such purity, such nobility, such effortless grace! Praise heavens for true-hearted maidens! Come, we journey together! Thank you, sire! <laughs> and everyone else as well. I promise you, you won't regret this. <laughs> <laughs>